guys, I'm here with Delfina, and I'm so excited to be doing your hair today. I'm excited yeah. too. We're gonna yes. have a fun day. Um, so let me have you tell me a little bit more about your hair and what you would like to see from this makeover. Well, I wanna see my hair um, not too dry, like right now, it's very hard to, to fix it. Okay. And in the back, you know, it's for you see in the back, it's not good cut in there, so I want you um, do a, a better haircut because for the past maybe four months I do myself. Okay, let's talk about your color first. Um, what do you? What would you like to see with your color? Because do you color your hair by yourself? Yes. Okay, so yes. what would you like to see with your color? Well, when my color, I want to see you know not too light. Okay. Maybe by the way that looks right now. Okay. But uh, maybe a little. Different? A little bit different? Yeah, a little bit different. Uh, okay, so I have a couple of ideas for Delfina for your hair. Um, one idea that I have is to keep the color that you have, because I know that you really like the color, but just add a little bit more color to that, a little bit more dimension by adding some caramels and some light browns. So it's going to make it a little bit darker, but it's going to give it so much more movement and dimension and look a little bit more shiny and healthy by adding those colors. We want to just make her color a little bit more rich, add a little bit more to it. Anyone that's blonde out there, if you want to add a little bit more to your hair color, that's a great option to, to go towards. Another option that I have, and I don't know how you feel about going darker, but is to just darken up your color, make it a little bit more rich, and instead of adding the dark tones to the light color, we would add light tones to your dark color. But um, what is your natural color right now? My, uh, my natural color is um, brown light. Is it light brown? Yeah, but uh, I have a lot of uh, gray hair. Okay. That's why I choose this color. Right, right, I totally yeah. understand that. So when you're choosing a color, you need to be really aware of your roots and what color is gonna be growing out. So we don't wanna go too dark with her color because then she's gonna have a definite line of demarcation from the color. So we wanna keep it around your natural color so that when it grows out, you're, it's not really noticeable. And when you have gray hair, sometimes it's better to add some lighter tones in there so that you can't see the gray hairs. It just looks like the color that you have. Okay, so great. we'll definitely keep that in mind for Delfina when we're choosing the right color for you. Oh, I'm excited. Yes, I'm excited yes. too. It's gonna to be beautiful. Oh, I, I totally agree with you, <laughs> yes. Okay, let's talk a little bit more about your cut. You, you said that you like the length that it's at. Yes. And I agree, I think that the length is great. Um, as Delfina mentioned, she has been cutting her own hair. So we're gonna wanna make sure to even up all the layers, that's gonna make it faster for you in the mornings to have everything just lay the right way and, and be even. That's gonna make a huge difference. This is what I like here. Right. Save time. Yes, we want to save time. Another. Something else that Delphine had mentioned that she likes longer layers. So I'm gonna show how you can keep longer layers with a short haircut and, and that it can still make a huge difference. Oh good. And, and leave it full and pretty okay. by doing longer layers. So, oh. so are you ready? And, and you going to show me how I fix it off too? Yes, when absolutely. When I'm being my own? Absolutely. You mentioned that your hair is a little bit dry. A product that I love and talk about all the time is argan oil. So I'm gonna add a little bit of that to your hair and I'm gonna show you how I would go through with the flat iron and with the round brush, and we'll talk a little bit more about that while we're doing it. Oh, that's great. Okay, yes. all right, well, let's, let's get go. started. Okay. Okay, so I'm just gonna start by sectioning off your hair. Okay. So have you always colored your hair yourself? Yes. Hey, you, you feel how much it's right? It's so dry, huh? It is a little bit dry, but um, I actually, after we put your color on, I have a glaze that we're gonna put over the top of it, and that's gonna add a lot of moisture and condition it a little bit more. So. Okay. And the be like a uh, regular shampoo or conditioner, is they work like, when they be good when I wash my hair, or they have to be special to wear that? Where your hair is uh, a little bit more dry, it's important that you use a shampoo and conditioner that's conditioning. Mm -hmm. And where you have a color, if you don't want it to fade, you can get a conditioning shampoo and conditioner that is color, is color friendly. It's not gonna strip your color. Okay. And of course, I recommend professional products, but you know, whatever, whatever you like. 
But you can be show me what kind of uh, products I can use, mm -hmm. right? Yes, absolutely. Okay. So I'm sectioning off her hair, but I'm going to leave this bottom part out. She talked about how she doesn't really get gray back here, it's a little bit darker. So we're going to add the lighter brown back here just to give that a little bit more dimension. And then we're going to do a different color for the base, similar to what she has now. And then we're going to weave three different colors through the top. Now doing a darker color on the bottom can also help it look a little bit more healthy. Um, dark colors usually look healthier than blondes. So, and and when you're not putting a lighter color, it's not going to be stripping other colors out of your hair. It's going to be more conditioning rather than than a bleach or something that's going to strip everything out of your hair. Okay, so we're going to start putting that color on the bottom. Okay. I look beautiful. <laughs> and by the hair cap, I got a question for you. Uh -huh. On the top, you think it's okay to leave in like that, uh, long, like the way the beard right now, or? We can add a few more layers. It's gonna soften that top layer, so oh. it's not gonna lay heavy. Oh. We'll make sure we can keep your layers longer, okay. but by adding a little bit more layers, it's gonna soften that one, so it's not a heavy layer hanging, and then more layers will definitely soften that. Oh, great. That top layer. I forgot to put gloves on, so I'm going to do that now. If I don't have brown hands. When I used to do hair all the time, my hands were always brown. It's hard to foil and wear gloves. So I didn't. Once I went into a jewelry store, I was looking for a ring for Casey and the lady there said, are you a hairdresser? And I was like, yeah, do I look like one? And she said, mm. I can tell because your hands are brown. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, gross. <laughs> So not always you use that glove? I do, but when I'm foiling, it's hard. Oh, okay. I, I just don't like it, so that it will get on my fingers and... Okay, so we have that light brown through the bottom, and now I'm just going to apply, start applying your base color and and foil through okay. the other colors through your hair. Okay, so I'm just going to start by applying this base color that we've picked out. Okay. I'm going to apply that to your roots. Bye-bye, what? Gray hairs. Bye-bye. Bye. No <laughs> come back. No more. You know what? Come in here. I really wish I could do that. Take away your gray hairs forever. I know. <laughs> They'd be wonderful, huh? Yes. Because I think part of the hair is part of you. Mm -hmm. how you look more young or more old right you know the makeup and the hair i think is very important yes i agree i al yeah. i'm glad that you mentioned that because i also think it's important when you're getting a little bit older i know some people love the ashy white blonde but actually golden blondes golden colors are going to make you look more youthful so if you're wanting to look a little bit younger make sure to remember that to add more golden tones hmm, good to know yep you see what the professionals say? <laughs> wow. 
Of course, unless your hair grows in white, which isn't beautiful and what I dream of having one day. Everything, you know? <laughs> the lucky ones that just go all white. I know. <laughs> I see some ladies. I know I won't do that. That's okay. A light pressure gear, the hair, mm -hmm. oh my God. Yep. I think for me, that looks more interesting, more, um, I don't know. It's a light Siemens mm -hmm. with the hair like that. Right. Oh, my mom always says it's not fair. When guys get older, they get more distinguished and look more handsome as they get grays and gray hairs and things like that. And as women, we just look older. It's not fair. And your mom is, is say the truth. Yeah. She's right. Yep. Yeah. All right, I'm just gonna start weaving through all the fun colors. Okay. Did I ask you, have you always colored your own hair? Yes. I always. Did you color it darker when it was dark? Or did you just no. leave it your natural? No, I leave my natural color. Okay. I start coloring my hair after they come out of my gray hair. Mm -hmm. Lucky that you had a pretty natural color for so long. And that's true, you know, women, they change mm -hmm. when the gray hairs come out. It's looks and the face is different. Right. I don't know, but I feel when the star come out of my white hairs, that's happened. And I don't like that. Yeah. <laughs> it, it changes the texture of your hair. That's why you maybe feel like it's a little bit more dry because those gray hairs are more coarse. You know, they're not as soft, so that might be, because your hair's not in, in bad shape. Just those gray hairs can sometimes make your hair feel a little bit more damaged and dry because they're so coarse. And you know, I find now, over here, here in Los Angeles, that water, that faucet water, mm -hmm. is, is not bad like over by where I live. Mm -hmm. Over there is, is, they made my hair more dry. Yeah. And when I come over here, you know, and I wash my hair, and it's, it feels so different. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to finish weaving the color through the top and then we'll be ready for you to process. Good. We're so close. So close to see the difference. Yeah, oh I can't wait. I can't wait either. It's the most exciting slash nerve wracking part for me because I'm excited to see how the color turns out, but there's always that chance that it's not gonna turn out exactly the way that you want it to. <laughs> I'm be okay with that. <laughs> 
We'll make it work, I promise. No matter what, it's gonna look awesome. I hope we find a way, you know? Right. There's so many different things that can affect color. Uh, the color that you've used before can affect the way that the color looks. Just some people's hair takes color differently. If it's uh, over-processed or damaged, it will take the color differently. So. But more times than not, it turns out good. You turn up for the better. Yes. So like I said before, we just covered her head with the base color, a lighter blonde color similar to what she had. And then right now I'm adding a caramel color and then we have a light brown that I'm, I'm changing in between. So that it will just blend really nice. We don't want to see any streaky pieces. We just want it blended and looking pretty. So that's why I put the base color on first and to make sure that we get all those little hairs. We don't want to see any grays when we're done. Right? Yes. to see with all that change. I know, I can't either. It's so exciting. With the clothes and... Mm -hmm. You're gonna look awesome. I don't know if I be crying or I be jumping or I be rolling in the floor. <laughs> <laughs> all of the above. I, we'll all be doing that. <laughs> I'm excited to see what Jose thinks. Oh, I know. All right, well, we're just getting the last foil in. I'm so excited. Well, I'm very close to see the different person. Yeah. Wow. Okay, so we're just gonna let this process for about 45 minutes and then we're going to rinse it and come back with cutting and after we cut it then we'll style it and show you a few little tricks and tips that I have for you. Oh wow. Okay. Okay so we just rinsed Delphina's hair and now we're going to start cutting and I'm just going to start back here in the back. It's really important if you have short hair to have a nice clean hairline. So if you're a hairdresser make sure you pay close attention to the neckline. If you are the person with the short hair getting your hair cut Pay attention to that. Make sure to look at it with a mirror before you leave and make sure that that's all clean because that can make a really nice haircut look kind of messy. So I'm going to start back there. I'm just going to trim it up. As soon as everything's a little bit more dry, I'm going to actually trim it with some little trimmers. Have you put your head down a little bit? And then I'm going to just take this section and section that off. Oh no. So I'm just sectioning off this hair here, getting it out of the way. And she talked about that she wanted longer layers, so I'm going to start down here and I'm just going to layer those layers so that she has a lot of movement, even everything up, but keep the layers a little bit longer. She likes her hair a little bit more full. So we're just going to soften up all of those layers and make sure that they're nice and even for you so it's faster in the morning. Yes. <laughs> to see. 
<laughs> I know, I'm excited to see what your color's gonna look like when it's dry. Me too. Okay, so Delfina talked about how she wanted to keep her layers longer, and she kind of has this long layer, and it's laying really heavy. So really pay attention to that, all of you out there who cut hair, and any of you getting your hair cut. Look at the back again, make sure that that top layer is not laying heavy, because there are so many different ways that you can soften that. You don't want to look like you have a shelf. So really pay close attention to that. You see me, what kind of face I make, huh? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's laying really nice already. Oh, yeah? You have some fun curl back here, too. You could just, like, put a little bit of mousse or gel in your hair and kind of just scrunch that up with your fingers okay. and let it kind of dry, and that would be a fun, different look, too. My hair is a little bit curly, Yeah, too. it's really pretty. Yeah. You have great texture. You know what is the most adorable thing, something I love so much about Jose, is when he comes to my house, he takes my little boy out and skateboards with him. Okay. So my little boy wanted a skateboard for his birthday, and he was so excited to show Jose. Oh, really? He told me <laughs> yeah, about yeah. it. Is you, is you son? Uh-huh, yeah, oh. my little boy. Oh, wow, he, he told me so about excited. it. <laughs> yeah, one time um, in my neighbor's across the street, he got a big uh, garden, and it's a big, uh, those kind of tree, you can make it a uh, fin. He's, uh, he's uh, a skateboard right there. And he went up and jumping behind the tree. And he take a little bit long to, uh, to come out the bushes. And I think, oh my God, something happened with him. Mm, scary. No, he get out and running again. <laughs> But he say he got hurt, mm -hmm. but he don't want to show me because I'm be mad at him. Oh, <laughs> take his skateboard away. <laughs> yeah, well, I don't take it away because he not told me the truth. But mm -hmm. three days ago, uh, later, he told me what happened. Yeah. And that's, I, in another story, oh my God. I want to take a picture of that, uh, of that friend I got in the house. He's... He got a friend to um, go to school for makeup, you know, to do like Halloween and other stuff. Mm -hmm. And uh, one time he went with the friends um, someplace for a party for Halloween. And then he come home like 10.30. I opened the door because he forgot the key. And I see his face. Oh, my God. Oh, like, you know, like somebody punch him in the face. Mm -hmm. I pass out. Oh, no. Yeah. I bet he felt so bad after that. Yeah, because, I, well, I open the door and I see him and he point the face very serious. Like, you know, like real. Mm -hmm. And I can hang with that. Mm -hmm. So I pass out. I don't know for how long. Oh, my goodness. And after that, he said, oh, my mom, <laughs> mom, please, sorry, mom, please, uh, forgive me. I I know, try to be like that, please. I'm so sorry. He cried. <laughs> Jose's the best. You know, he's, he's a nice guy. So nice. Very nice guy. So thoughtful and sweet. You did a good job. Well, I try, when my three kids, I try. The three is so good. Mm -hmm. And always I tell him, you the older, you had to make a model for the other two. Right. Okay, so I talked about how important it was to make sure that they had a clean neckline. As you can see, when you cut anyone's hair short, they have a little bit of these little hairs right here. So again, make sure that you don't have any of those when you leave the salon. This is, I don't like, the part of my back, that piece is right there. 
little sneaky hairs. Yeah. Make sure to brush that down because some of those hairs can kind of hide up there. Okay, so now we're gonna start styling your hair and I'm really excited, but I wanted to talk a little bit about round brushing your hair. Do you ever round brush your hair? No. No? So I'm gonna just kind of show you how you do it and I got you a round brush to take home and, and how I like to kind of section my hair off and how important it is, because you said that sometimes your hair can kind of grow out and be a little bit um, unmanageable. So if you take the time to round brush your hair, section by section, it's gonna make it easier to manage and it's gonna take less time. It seems like it's gonna take more time to round brush because the hair drying process is a little bit longer, but it's gonna help in the end. It's gonna make it more smooth and you're not gonna to have to go through with your flat iron or your curling iron as much, which is gonna not be as damaging. You're gonna cut out some of that damage. So I'm gonna start out with the argan oil. She mentioned that her hair was a little bit dry and so I'm gonna use just a little bit of this through her ends. Again, you don't wanna put it onto her scalp. It's gonna make your hair look a little bit greasy if you do that, so just work it through the ends really good. That's gonna protect your hair, give it some shine, and condition it a little bit. It looks fair and not ready. Mm -hmm. And I like to sometimes finish off with a little bit of this oil at the end. I like it to protect the hair while we're blow drying and then to add a little bit more at the end just for a little bit more shine. They also have it in a spray, which is awesome. So check out the Derm Organic. Uh, argan oil in just the regular oil and in the spray. It's really good. Okay, so once I have that worked through there really well, I'm just gonna take my root booster. This is my favorite. It's just by Matrix. Va boom, take me higher. And I'm gonna work that through her scalp, through her roots, in sections. Okay, and when I round brush my hair, I like to let it air dry or I like to blow dry it so that it's almost all the way dry. Her hair's getting pretty dry. So I'm just gonna start by sectioning off her hair. So I really like this size of round brush for uh, short hair or like shoulder length hair. It's big enough that it's gonna give a lot of lift, but it's also small enough that it's gonna grab all those hairs. If you use one much bigger than this, it's not gonna give it that lift and that curl that you want. So I really like this size. All right, are you ready? Start yes, blow drying? yes, okay. I'm ready. Yeah. 
Okay, so we just got done round brushing Delfina's hair. What do you think? It's beautiful. It does look really pretty. Delfina actually likes her hair a little bit more straight than this. But if you were going out and wanted kind of a curly look, you could get this look just by round brushing your hair. Like I told Delfina, it takes a little while to get used to using a round brush, but be patient because you're going to get better the more you do it, and then your whole hair doing process is going to be a lot easier because it smooths it and gives it volume and gives it a little curl. So I'm going to show you how to get a straight look but still keep some of this volume, okay? Okay. Okay. So I'm but just I still can wear like that too. It's nice like that. You like know? This? this? Yes, I love it like this, okay. especially in the back. In the back. It looks so cute. Okay and curly and even if you like, like a straighter it. look you can keep this back curly and just straighten through here okay you know because she likes that a little bit straighter around her face so you can absolutely do that have a little more curl in the back a little straighter in the around your face okay so I'm I just like going to section off this side yes I'm really happy with the color And I have a video all about this um, on my channel. Hey Kaylee, I'm styling my mom's hair. So go check it out if you want to know a little bit more about this. Okay, keep watching so that you see her makeup, and we're going to get you in your outfit, and we're going to see your total look. I'm so excited. Oh, wow. All I'm right. excited, too. <laughs>